Today we want to talk about the Holy Catholic Church. So Christians confess in the Apostles' Creed that we believe in the Holy Catholic Church and the communion of saints. But what does that mean, the Holy Catholic Church? And of course, when we look at the church in the world, we don't see much that looks holy, nor do we see much that looks Catholic. So let's define the terms a little bit. To be holy means to belong to God. This is literally what it means in Scripture, something set apart for God, something that belongs to God. And, and we are holy, the church is holy because it belongs to God, not because the people in it are perfect. In fact, the church is meant to be a place that welcomes people who are broken, people who are struggling. And in the process of being a part of the church, over a period of time, we're meant to become perfected. We're meant to become holy in our Catholic. The word Catholic comes from two Greek words uh, put together that meant, uh, in essence, universal or the church in all places. And, and so to be the Catholic church doesn't mean that every church is a part of the Roman Catholic church, but that every community that confesses Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord is a part of that one church, that, that community that belongs to Him. And so whether you're a Roman Catholic or a Baptist Catholic or a Methodist Catholic or a Pentecostal Catholic, you're all part of that one universal family, that one community. Now to be a church, the word in Greek from which we have the word church is kuriakon, and this is a word that means uh, belonging to the Lord. And, uh, and in German that became kuriakon, became kirch, which in English became church. So the church is that which belongs to God, the same as the idea of holy, uh, that which belongs to God. And, uh, and yet in the New Testament, the word most often used for church is ekklesia, and ekklesia from two Greek words that mean called out or called together. Uh, this was a common Greek word that meant an assembly, but the church is Jesus' assembly. It's His people, and so we are God's people. We are belonging to God. We are called by God. Now, one of the uh, frequent metaphors for the church in the New Testament is the idea of family. So we are the family of God, and over and over again, uh, we find Christians called the brothers and sisters in Christ. They are the family of God, and so there's this idea that Christians are meant to care for one another, bear one another's burdens, to to, uh, to share in what the New Testament calls koinonia. That is a sharing of life together, a fellowship together. I saw this recently. We have a ministry at Church of the Resurrection that we partner with called Healing House. And many of the members of Healing House are a part of Church of the Resurrection. Uh, this ministry is located in the heart of the city. And it is for uh, former prostitutes, drug dealers, addicts, people who just got out of prison. Uh, they live in community together. They gather together to encourage one another in the faith. And once a year they have a baptismal service and it's in an outdoor swimming pool, above ground pool behind one of these houses in the urban core. And, and so I had a chance to be there and 51 people were baptized or renewed their baptism with all kinds of interesting stories of, of, of the life transforming that happened. But this life transform, transformation for them, as they came out of the water as new people, this life transformation happened within the context of community. It was people who were loving them, encouraging them, blessing them. And what was great is in addition to the 51 people who were baptized, there were 100 people standing around and they cheered every time one of them was baptized, cheering them on for what they had done. And that's what the church looks like. We gather to love one another, to welcome all people, everyone welcome within Jesus' community, within His people. And then we grow into Christ's likeness and we encourage one another in the faith. Now another image of the church in the New Testament is the image of the church as the body of Christ. That is Jesus' physical incarnation, His presence in the world. So Jesus leaves His disciples and He says, I'm leaving you, now you go do what I did. Roman Catholic theologian Henri de Lubac said it well when he said, If Christ is the sacrament of God, the church is for us the sacrament of Christ. She represents Him in the full and ancient sense of the term. She really makes Him present. She not only carries on His work, but she is His very continuation. This is what the church is meant to be, the presence of Christ in the world. When I have conversations with people who have no faith, I don't start off saying, well, let me tell you why you should believe in God. I start off saying, let me tell you about the church that I go to. Let me tell you about how they're serving people who are in need in the city, what they're doing in Haiti and Honduras and Africa and various places. Let me tell you about them, the love that they show for each other. And the thing is, somebody can argue with any point I would make philosophically for why you should believe in the existence of God, but it's awfully hard to argue with love embodied in a community. And when the church is being the church, People are drawn to it and the world has changed. So I want to encourage you to be a part of the Holy Catholic Church. <laughs>